Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. Years ago, we were living in Southern California. Fatima was in the second, I think, second, third grade, no, second grade. And she and I were in the um, bathroom in the morning brushing our teeth. And I would always teach the kids how to brush their teeth and get all the areas. And so we were brushing our teeth. And she said, my teacher put me in a special reading group. And I was like, oh, wow, you're in a special reading group? And she was kind of like excited about it. Yeah, it's a special reading group. And I said, wow, now how'd you get in the special reading group? She said, my teacher said I need some help. And I'm like, what? Help? Now, I have to tell you, Fatima is rather remarkable. And in the second grade, she was reading on a 10th grade reading level. It was really something to see. And she's still quite intelligent. Uh, but at that age, I remember once we went into the doctor's office for her regular checkups. She was about uh, six months old. And he says, is she starting to crawl? I said, she crawls, she's walking. And, and the doctor says, <laughs> parents are so amazing. They always think... He said, where is she? I said, she's standing behind you. And then this doctor was blown away. And then, like the next checkup, I don't know, nine months or something, he said, is she starting to form, like put words together a little bit? Because she was, her language arts were way advanced. And I said, she's speaking in paragraphs. And he said, oh, parents, you guys, I know you got me with the walking thing, but that would be remarkable. So he says, Fatima, how are you today? She goes, I'm fine, but yesterday was a really rough day. It was difficult. <laughs> I kid you not. She'd be a baby. We'd be in the grocery store and she's in the cart. And people would go, oh, what a beautiful little baby. And she'd go, hello, and how are you today? And it would freak people out because it was something to see. Anyway, sounds crazy, but it's true. So she's second grade, reading at the 10th grade reading level. The teachers put her in a special reading group because she needs extra help. And I said, who else is in this class? She said, Juan, Juanita, Carlos, Estefan. I'm seeing a pattern. So I dropped my toothbrush. I said, come here, baby. Put her toothbrush down. And we go to the school. And I said, you know, I need to see the principal. I need to see the principal right now. And the secretary's like, why? And they called her a secretary in Southern California. And I said, because my child has been put in a remedial reading group and no one sent me a permission slip. No one asked about it. No one called. No one contacted me about putting my child in a special remedial reading group. Oh, well, and the principal was coming in. It was early. So the principal says, how can I help you? And I said, hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and blah, 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 blah. And I didn't always introduce myself as doctor. In fact, I rarely, rarely do. Uh, in, in that instance, I needed to. And so we sit down and, and she's having this conversation and she says, well, let me call the teacher in because I explained what happened. Teacher comes in and she's all frazzled and she, like literally her hair was like, everywhere and she's like I didn't I didn't I'm not a racist and I said ma'am who who mentioned race I'm asking you why you put my child in a remedial reading group and you never had a conversation with me well well she needs an evaluation because she she needs help I noticed that she'll say that she's done reading and she just puts the book down and 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 she hasn't read it I said are you kidding me I said, she's already read the book and she put it down. And by the time you look up, she's done. Well, that's not possible. I said, okay. Well, she needs to have an evaluation done at the, at the least because I'm a teacher and I've been doing this for years and I'm not a racist. I said, calm down, man. And so I go in my big bag and I pull out and drop, because it's hundreds of pages, my daughter's evaluation because yes, I'd had them done for all the kids. A learning evaluation is really, really good to see how they learn to help and assist them in the way that they learn. And so she was like, well, how did you do? Those are expensive. I said, you just are not helping yourself. And I'm looking at the principal and the principal's like, oh my God, oh my God. 
And I'm just kind of like, ma'am. And so I said, you know, um, I, I know my child really well. And I think we just need to move her to another classroom because if you can't help her with this, I know you can't help her with math because that's actually an area that she needs a little bit more help with. She said, well, no, no, no. I, 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 I. And I said, hey, let me just ask you this. Have you ever heard Fatima read? Well, no. I said, great. We just need to move her to another classroom. So, you know, they agreed they're going to do this. So that afternoon she calls and she's sobbing in the phone. And she says she heard Fatima read. And not only does she read and comprehend so well, she sounds out the characters and she pauses for effect. And she looks over the room and she tells the story. And she says, she is so phenomenal. I'm so sorry. And clearly I'm, I'm not doing my job. I said, you just need to admit that Fatima gets on your nerves because she gets on mine and you just wanted a break. She's like, no, no, no. But I could really use her because she could help some of the other kids and help assist them. And I said, now you want my child to do your job. No, that's not going to happen. Just move her to another room. So we did, and then we moved to another school. But here's the thing. Sometimes um, the presence of others will bring out something in you that you don't even know you have in you, and you don't understand why. You're annoyed by it. And rather than kind of stop and say, what is it about them that bothers me? What is it about that story that brings up a story in me, right? Um, instead, we would like to put those people off in a corner, and shut them out and move them away and critique them and tell them that what they're doing is not right. That there's something wrong with them rather than maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. I look at whenever. Why am I bothered by this? Let me look at myself. There's something in me that does this. So let me say clearly. There's no reason for you to suggest that I stop doing these. I don't need a break. I don't need to go away. If you do, take a break. I'm going to continue. We're going into a really tough period of time. And together, we all can learn who we are and what we need and how we can grow. Or you can just scroll on by. I can go to another classroom. Or you can. I love you. I really do. I may just not be the person for you. But I ain't stopping because you say so. <laughs> I love y'all. I do.